I think I just wanted them to see if I could get them. You know, I really didn't think, I didn't think my dad was gonna allow me to play drums. Like, I thought they would laugh at me and say, no way, but they they did. I mean, they let me play them. And uh, I mean, I was terrible for a few years, but then I really started kind of falling in love with it. And it, it helped me so much when I started learning how to play guitar because I kind of already had that innate sense of rhythm. You know, in my house, we always had guitars. We had people come over, family members, uh, my father's friends, they all played guitar. And my dad showed me some chords, and. And that was it, it was like off I, I went and I started playing. I mean, I like everything. I, I really didn't used to play with pedals a lot. Slowly but sure, surely started adding in actual effects. I started working in like the tremolo. And I got a pulse drive right here, the cast engineering, and that's kind of fun for certain songs. It adds a cool space to it. got two delays here, a carbon copy, which is my favorite, um, and I use it on a few different songs. Just Sometimes I don't want to use a, a drive pedal, but if you use a little bit of delay, it adds that like kind of sweet tail that's, it almost acts as like a natural sustain if you, if you time it right. I have a crazy delay, which I set to crazy settings and make fun space age effects with it. Fuzz pedals, Fuzz Factory. Uh, I got the JHS, the little mini foot fuzz, which is cool. Analog Man, that's the old school original, one of the original pedals. It's old. custom model guitar. It's a thin line style Telecaster. Uh, it's got a Malfitano pickups, humbucker style, semi-hollow. It's got a custom F-hole design. It's a fish. And it's probably my most comfortable feeling guitar. I mean, I can't even explain how amazing the neck on this is. Cause, like even up here, it's like super flat. It's, it's almost like playing on a runway. I don't know. It's like wide, flat, and I can just get around on it really quick, but it's got great tone. I've always wanted an SG because I grew up liking ACDC. So that's pretty much, that was it. And I mean, I like the white and the black. I mean, it, it's it's just a straight up Gibson. They're rock star guitars. They, I mean, it played great. It's brand, it was brand new when I got it. I don't usually get brand new guitars, but like I said, I mean, it played great right out of the box and you know, the pickups sound good. A uh, company called Stogie Box Blues made this one, but P bass pickup, and it's really it's falling apart at this point, but it still sounds really mean. I tune it to open G. It's another one of those guitars where I like to do really in your face sort of effects with it. We utilized it on the new album on a song called Crow Jane, which is old catalog that I covered the, I was inspired by the Skip James version of it. But I love it, man, it's a crowd pleaser too. People are always going, where's your cigar box? We wait too long to pull it out, they want to see it. But it's pretty simple, I mean, it's four strings, I tune it to open G, it's like G, D, G, B. 
you know, first heard these kind of guitars, and then, you know, really to me this falls in line when, when I play like Shake Em On Down and any like North, a lot of North Mississippi songs, you know, it's like really in your face and rock and roll and ballsy. And I, I always try to put at least one on a record. I mean, it's just, it's just fun. It gives it a whole different tone and coloring in the studio. It's just something else to play with. And I feel like when you have the option to do it, you know, stretch out, get, get as much as you can.